Okay, for the anonymous who asked how I edit my photos or my screenshots, um, for the longest time I was running Photoshop 7 and I couldn't do any of the uh, Photoshop actions or anything, so I made myself a few PSD files with all these different layer effects and I just put it in a layer set. They're actually on my blog somewhere because I had put them up for download some time ago. But this is the one I usually use. That's the um, normal screenshot and this is with the layer effects. It just sort of lightens it and gives it a more, I don't know, it works differently for different images. But I've only got this set to 50%. You can crank it up or down depending on what your original image looks like and everything. But that's that one. I had one called Indoors for um, indoorsy screenshots. It's just got a warmer sort of feel to it. Uh, more yellowish color. And this one was called Nighttime. This is the one that I used for that most recent photo set that I just posted. And we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how I shrink my images. I forget where I heard it originally, but um, I had heard somewhere that if you shrink them in paint, they stay a little more crisp. It's right, they definitely do. It's subtle, but it's just subtle enough that you're like, hey, you know, this looks nicer. Um, this is actually still set to my old size, so I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that. Um, I usually don't do too much editing to my images other than this. Occasionally, like for this set, I um, I lightened it a bit by copying the original and setting the layer to screen. I set that to about 30%, and I copied again and made a soft light layer above that, set it about 50%. So you can already see there's quite a difference from the original just with that. But um, since I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I did the flowers, too. I made a new layer above the uh, source images. And the first one I did, um, I'll end up doing two layers above the image, but um, the first one you set to soft light. And this is just where I sort of did just an all-around glow, the more subtle. of the two. Um, you can see it already lightened it up a bit. But um, over top of this one I did a new layer set to overlay and inside of each of these flowers I just use a small feather brush and add a little bit of light to each one. That way it looks like each of them is sort of emitting a bit of a glow. Fairly simple, a little tedious, but definitely worth it in the end. But I figured since I had already had this open, I would go ahead and actually walk you guys through how I did the glowy flower thing.